In an exclusive interview with Sky News, the chief executive officer of the Community Water and Sanitation Agency, Clement Bugasi, said the act that established the Community Water and Sanitation Agency is different from the other bodies and believes the merger will not have a direct impact on their activities. Clement Bugatti maintained that even though the board of the Community Water and Sanitation Agency has a representation from Ghana Water Company, he believes their operations will not be affected by the merger. He said their mandate as a body providing water for the rural communities has not changed and they will continue to execute that mandate. And if there is anything to rejoice, then it must be for the fact that the entire nation will benefit from their operations. The idea of Ghana Water Company and the Ghana Urban Water Company will not directly have any effect on our operations because our work is divide, separate from theirs. They deal with urban and we are responsible for rural water and small towns, rural communities and small towns. So the only way we may conjecture that it would have an impact on us is just as Ghanaians. We are also Ghanaians. So if all is going well in the water sector, we tend to benefit. If all is not going well, we may also suffer the consequences. But officially, we, we don't think there will be any direct impact on our work. Water Furthermore, Clement Bugatti stressed that the company has adapted very well to mandates given to them. He said they deal with the communities numbering between 75 to 50,000 people. Clement Bugatti said they have empowered the members of the communities to take care of their own water and sanitation infrastructure, which puts some level of responsibility on them. <laughs> For populations uh, going up to 5,000, we most of the time provide them with what we call a limited mechanized system where we source for a high yielding borehole we put in a submersible pump we lift the water to a small high level tank and then we provide um, stamp pipes for them to aggregate around it and fetch for populations above 5000 uh, we step up the technology and the service level to what we call small town water supply systems where we provide a reasonably large high level tank we source water to meet the needs of the population according to our standards and guidelines and then we provide stamp pipes and limited reticulation that is we connect a few households who can afford it and for the small towns, when the population threshold starts growing up to 10,000, 15,000, it becomes difficult for the communities themselves to manage and operate because the distributing network, the transmission lines, the electromechanical equipment that we install are beginning to get a bit sophisticated. In a few cases, there may even be the need to do some limited treatment of the water. Uh, and that becomes a challenge for the community. So what we guide the assemblies to do in such cases is for the assembly to procure a private operator, a company that has competence in operating running water systems for that town. 